Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the point class in Java. So here the point class helps to plot a point on the screen. So by, the, by connecting the points you can draw vertical line, horizontal line or any polygon. So let us see how we can draw the polygon using this point class. So import java io.star so this is for the input output and then here import java.util this is for the utility you are using some utility class over here and then import java.awt okay and then class main public static void main string arc throws io exception actually what does it mean is this is the main class normally we start with public static void main and string is the type of the variable by which the arguments are got through but here this throws io exception is added over here in order to handle the io exception that occurs so if any error occurs in the input output this will be thrown by this statement that is throws io exception and open the brace string s we are just creating a object are called s which is of the class string okay and then i was it is an string type data yes int x comma y the two variables and then system dot out dot print ln so here we are just typing the message on the screen implementation of point so now the next line buffered reader br is equal to new buffered reader new input stream reader of system dot n so this is one of the input statement from which we can read the data from the buffer so buffer reader like we have done in the previous example using the scanner we are using a buffer this is also one of the means of getting the input okay so here br is an object and here it is clear that buffer reader is the class name and br is the object name that is created through the new operator so again the buffer reader from where we are creating this is from the input stream reader so we know that system has both input and the output class so this in class will have the reader likewise the out class will have the writer okay so now we are getting this through the in class like we are we are assigning the reader in order to get the value from the buffer so this is what the meaning of this buffer reader line okay now let us see how to get the input system dot out dot print ln enter the x coordinate so actually what is this program is going to do we are going to get the two inputs x and y x coordinate and the y coordinate and we are going to check whether the x coordinate and y coordinate based on the values we can say whether the the input is invalid or by the input we can draw a vertical line or with the input we draw a vertical line or we are able to draw a square or a rectangle so based upon whether the value is zero or non-zero or one is or both the values are equal or non-equal accordingly we can draw the vertical line horizontal line square or rectangle now let's see the logic here so system dot out dot print ln get the x coordinate so here s is equal to br dot read line here s is the variable which is getting the value from the read line function on the object br that is the meaning of this line br dot read line so this line is this line is the method or a function which is which will get the input through the object br and it is assigned to the variable s yes. okay so now we know that what are all the input we got through is always an string in java so that has to be converted into an integer in order to make it as a numerical value so how to do this that is done by the pass int function so integer is the class so integer is the class and pass int is the method of the class so here we are just creating an integer dot pass int of s and that is assigned to x actually what does it mean is we are getting a value through s from the br dot read line and that value is converted into integer using this parse int and assign the value of x same way next we are displaying the message of system dot print out, out in print ln y coordinates so from the y coordinate the same thing here br dot read ln actually this object is same and the function is same but what they are getting the values converted first and stored into x for the first time when you give the next value it is given as the 
assigned to the y coordinate so x coordinate and y coordinate are got through these six lines of code okay so now we are going to and we know that a point is a combination of x and the y coordinate so we have to create a new coordinate using the point class so point is the class name and q is the object in java everything is class and object okay so now point is the class so we know that a class name space a name is the object name so point space q now q is the object now we can operate many methods on this object q now how it is created is equal to new point of x comma y so this point is the class which will combine the value of x and y to make an x y coordinate on the object q okay so now next we are going to check based upon the x and the y value the system will be able to draw a line or a square or a rectangle or an it will be considered as an invalid coordinate so we are giving if q dot get x is equal to 0 and q dot get y is equal to 0 actually what does it mean is if both the coordinates are 0 nothing can be done so we can say that that is an system dot out dot printl and invalid coordinates we cannot do anything with this coordinates okay else if so this is an example for an nested if statement we are having is if if else if where nested if statement is here now and this equal to the relational operator and this this is then logical and operator this is the logical and operator and this is the relational equal to operator this is different from the assignment operator this is equal this is checking for equality okay so if both are zero the system prints invalid coordinates and else if q dot x get x is equal to z here get x is the again the method which will operate on the object q okay so if q dot get x is equal to 0 then the system displays it can draw a vertical line because for a vertical line y has y value y coordinate has some value where x is 0 same way if q dot get y is equal to 0 that means the q coordinate actually if y it is 0 we can draw only an horizontal line okay so for the horizontal line we need x value or vertical line we need the y value okay so now next is if q dot get x is equal to q dot get y if both the coordinates are same means we are, can draw a square because we know that the sides of the squares are equal and now if this is not the case so if all the conditions are false then it is assumed that the value of get x is not equal to the value of get y that means x and y are having different values but non-zero so that means we can draw a rectangle so we can we know that the length and the breadth are different having different values in a rectangle so when the values of y and x are different if all the cases are false then naturally x value and y values are non-zero but they are different values so we can draw a rectangle with this x and the y values so that's all the program and we have to close the braces for the main and the class now let us see how the output looks like so implementation of the point enter the x coordinate so i have given all the combination output for the all the combinations so i have given x as 0 and y as 56 so vertical line can be drawn so next execution i have given x has some value but y is 0 then the system gave the messages what horizontal line can be drawn okay and next next execution x and y same values given 50 and 50 so the answer is square the square can be drawn with the same values and next execution x has value as 25 and y is 56 so the x and the y values are different so we can draw a rectangle by this val values and finally uh, given x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 and here this they are the invalid coordinates so that's all the program so if the program explains how the point class can be used to, to assign the x and the y value that is gone through the that, that gone through the buffered stream reader so that's all the program and thanks for watching